So I'm spending a little bit of time at the moment um, completely overhauling our work website and blog. Um, it's been running very, very slow and it's been neglected for quite some time so it needs a full-blown spring clean. And one of the things I decided to do was set up a content delivery network. So I've signed up for Max CDN and what I found was even though there are a lot of tutorials and great support so far, there's nothing for someone who has no clue what they're doing um, to just follow step by step by step. Now, so I thought I'm about to set up another um, another one. I've already done one for the blog. I'm about to do it for the main site. So I thought I'd take a screen cast and anyone like me who doesn't actually want to spend time messing around figuring out how to do this themselves could just follow step by step how to set this up. So let's get going. So when you first log into Mac CDN, you'll be presented with a page which looks something like this. And the first thing that we want to do is create a pull zone. Now this doesn't take very long, we just pop in a little bit of information. So you can give your pull zone um, an, a custom name. We need to pop in your domain here. custom CDN domain. I prefer just, this is just going to create a um, subdomain for you. Um, I prefer to use just CDN. Oh, help if I could type, wouldn't it? And a description that's just sort of for you. And compression, tick that, create. Okay, that's been done. And now you're going to be prompted to create a C name record for that subdomain. Let's have a look at how we're going to do that. Okay, so I've logged into my um, C panel. And I'm now going to go find simple DNS zone editor. Now we want to scroll down to add a C name record. Okay. Now the name here is going to be what the just the whatever we put as the prefix here, which was CDN. See how it's automatically just adding your domain thing? So just pop in just pop in the subdomain. And the C name, going back here. And copy. That. And now that's added. Now, if you skipped off that page and you didn't, and you didn't sort of have that information at the top here, if you, if you just go into your pull zones and then go manage, that's what we wanted to copy in there, our temporary URL. So when I check my um, zones now in the simple DNS code editor, I can see that I've got the one that I created earlier, but I've also got this one here which was the cdn.lewistaxation.com.au and the record will be the name of your temporary thing which we copied over. Now I'm going to be using the CDN with W3 Total Cache which I actually haven't set up yet. I just that second downloaded it um, but I've done this before so I've got a fair idea what I'm doing I hope. So we're going to scroll down on the general settings, on your general tab page. First we're going to scroll down where it says CDN. We're going to enable that and I'm going to select NetDNA Max CDN and save those settings. Okay, and you'll get a message at the top here saying that the replace default host name with field must be populated. 
So we're going to head over to our CDN tab. And what it's asking for is this part here, the configuration. And it's asking for an API ID and a key. Now, let's take a look at how we're going to get those things. Okay, so we head back over to Mac CDN. And once we're logged in, we see a thing here says My Settings. So we're going to click on that. And you'll notice over here there's something API. So we want to click on that. And we want to add a key. And we're going to give that key a description. And set the privileges. I'm going to keep this at master. And save. So we head back over to the API again. And here, this is why descriptions are important. So now we have our ID and our key. We can just paste those straight into our configuration here. Now you might recall that what actually sent us to this page was we had an error with the replace site's host name with that was compulsory. And what that is, if you remember when you set up your CNAME record, that's the name that we've given our subdomain. So we'll just pop that one in there. And then we want to test net DNA. Make sure that everything's working correctly. Our test has passed, which is great. So we're going to save those settings. Okay, so now I'm being told that the content delivery network is actually enabled. So I just want to check this. So if I go visit the site, and I'll just pick up, pick an image here and get the properties pull this into frames so that you can see. We can see now that it is actually being pulled from the CDM which we've set up. Anyway, that's how to get started with it and I hope that's of some help to someone. Thanks.